بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شابتر 11 communication process communication process what's communication communication it's uh, transformation or transfer and understanding of a meaning why we communicate 80% uh, of our life we communicate with other and around 80% of our uh, uh, our problems it's communication problems why we communicate we communicate to control others behavior we communicate to motivate others we communicate to express our emotions and to take a decision what is that communication process it's a it's a process starting with a sender who create a message and encoding it using a channel to send his message to the receiver who receives a message and decoding it and and creating another message it's a feedback to tell the sender that uh, his uh, message delivered successfully sender what sender sender the person who initiative uh, to create a message and encoding it encoding means converting uh, the message into symbol and the language message it's our product actual physical product from the sender is encoding channel the sender selected medium through which the message travels so whatever it is a formal channel or informal channel receiver the person to whom the message is directed and decoding converting again a message from symbol and the language back to suit and the noisy it's a communication barriers and the feedback it's information sent from the receiver back to the sender to inform him that his uh, message uh, successfully delivered. The a channel of communication, a formal channel, a formal channel when we are speaking about professional activities, <clears throat> and informal channel when we are speaking or are communicating for a personal or a social activity. What is the direction? of communication there are three directions downward communication upward communication lateral communication downward communication the downward communication it's a communication that flows to from one level of a group of organization to a lower one it's uh, normally uh, assigning goals, provide job instruction, inform MBAs of a policies and procedure, point out the problems um, that need more attention, or offer feedback about performance. This type this type of uh, communication i'm speaking about downward communication from a higher level to a lower one normally it uh, it be uh, a written or electronic communication downward communication became more effective if a manager wait a uh, feedback it's one-way communication from a manager to mbe and become more more effective if he take a feedback or opinion from his MBVs or subordinates. 
upward communication it's communication from a lower level to a higher organizational level from MBE to the manager uh, actually it uh, it could be informing about uh, progress uh, or um, outline problems or suggestion um, there are a condition for upward communication it should be simple uh, headlines no paragraphs uh, direct to the point actionable items uh, uh, respecting a communication report system and agenda letter communication it's communication between two levels uh, uh, two person at the same organizational level it's um, it's communication to facilitate and coordinate the work and saving time interpersonal communication there are three forms of interpersonal communication or communication written communication and nonverbal communication it's oral, oral communication it's a speed uh, we can take a feedback simply and correct uh, but the disadvantage um, is that we haven't a record we haven't a tangible object that's the communication happen written communication the second form um, uh, the main advantage of a written communication it provides a tangible record can be stored and identified when, whenever we want and clarified whenever we want it's a uh, uh, physical uh, record but the disadvantage is time consuming and echo feedback and maybe not read non-verbal communication we are speaking about body language uh, speaking about intuition uh, physical expression, uh, visi uh, face expression, and physical distance. Nonverbal communication has the main advantage that support the verbal or written communication, but the disadvantage uh, that uh, sometimes it uh, transfer among uh, among meaning. Yes body movement it's one of a nonverbal communication a voice level it's one face expression and physical distance between sender and receiver uh, three common uh, former small group networks a chain there are three common former small group networks a chain wheel and oil channels chain wheel and or channel now we will compare between among three types of small networks speed chain moderate wheel fast or channel fast accuracy chain high high or channel moderate either a chain moderate wheel high or channel no either none number uh, member of satisfaction chain moderate wheel low or channel high this is a former small groups network and finally we are speaking now about the barriers to effective communication filtering selective perception information overload emotion language science <clears throat> communication apprehension and the lying filtering mean that mean that uh, um, the the sender when the sender transfers information to the uh, uh, receiver, 
um, uh, the information not uh, uh, completely delivered to uh, the receiver. Sometimes they keep a bad news, sometimes they keep a dangerous news, they keep, they keep information between uh, a sender and the receiver. Selective perception means that that receiver focus on a certain information and neglect or uh, don't care about the other information. Information overload, I mean it's uh, too much information. Too much information make it uh, less uh, effective communication. Emotion, when we mix our emotion with information. Language, when we when we speak a different language or a different terminology. Communication apprehension, it's a phobia from communication. Uh, there are many good MBEs, but they are poor in communication skills. Silence, no transferring the information. And the I transfer among information. Thank you, my student. See you in the next chapter and next lecture in China.